What's up, you guys? It's the Crypto Truth. Here to tell you the truth about crypto. All right. Today's 100x coin, and this is a good one, ranked number 702. Like I said, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm just here to give you guys information, man. Let you guys know about these nice little coinerooskies, man, that are coming out, popping up everywhere like little squirrels on a little game where you hit them with the hammer. You know what I'm talking about. Smack whack-a-mole. <laughs> Look at this, market cap. What's that say? What's that say right there? Just under 20 million. Ain't that something special? 827,000. Good volume. If you guys didn't see the last video I did with uh, Squid Grow, this one's sitting at the same same level. I think this one, though, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, circulating supply, 178 million rounded up. Total supply three hundred ten million, round it down. Um, so a little more than half the supply is in there. Uh, I like to see a little bit higher, maybe if it was like two twenty, circulating supply. So all depends on the tokenomics for that. And I believe so. Squid Grow was out for like less than a month. There wasn't much uh, stuff to go off on that one. So this is from September 2020, um, and it's been down. It went way above $2, and now it's down a whole lot, 66.5% for the year. I don't know if that's all, all time. All-time high, 262, down 95.7%, almost two years ago, April 12, 2021. That's crazy. Um, All-time low, <laughs> almost 6,000% up from its all-time low. All right, enough with all that stuff. Like, get going to this website that we've been looking at. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Parshik.net. Yes, yes, yes. Load it, load it. All right. Man. Let me know. Do you guys accept cookies or decline them? I don't know, man. Let me accept it just so I can get through this video. You know what I'm saying? Custom tailored data. Powerful, efficient, and fast APIs created for you exclusively. One-stop solution for blockchain data. Parsic products and solutions equip clients with historical and real-time data. Custom tailors that data to their specific needs and provides the means for strong and securing that for storing and securing that data. Excuse my reading. I just learned how to read last week, so sorry if I'm a little... Backward. Tsunami API designed for Web3 dApps and protocols who need information instantly. Data lakes. Maximize your data analytics capabilities and discover new and important insights in your data. Data hubs. The ultimate storage solution where you can get all of the data you need specific to your dApp or protocol. A protocol? Yeah, yeah. Protocol, man. Networks we support Ethereum, BSC, Polygon, and Avalanche. What, which one of those do you guys like? I like BSC. I've been looking at Polygon. Um, and I've been looking at Solano, but I really feel like that one doesn't have much. Like, I feel like Polygon or Avalanche is going to be the next, you know, one of, one of the ones that get into the top five. Web3 data at your fingertips. Customizable, fast, flexible. Parsec is more than just simple access to data. Our solutions will help usher in the next generation of innovation 
functionality, and adoption for Web3 products and services. So this thing's heavy in Web3. At Fluid DeFi, we've been looking for a faster and easier way of obtaining accurate BNB chain data. Parsec Tsunami API surpasses our expectations. In our initial tests, our team was able to pull event data from different PancakeSwap decks yield farming contracts more simply than pulling it directly from the blockchain and found it just as accurate. Don't force your users to wait until you get the information from the blockchain. The Tsunami API provides data instantly and at the most granular level. No matter the block size transactions, no matter the block size transaction or type of information contained with a contract, if it's on the blockchain, Tsunami will get it. We have made it easy to access data through our API or portal requiring only simple HTTP requests. I'm interested in the security of this. Because it's like it could pull all this data, you know? Create extra custom logic. By getting data instantly, free your time to address the activities that matter. Data lakes are built to provide custom data of Web3 dApps or protocols so you don't have to store and process data. Once you've defined the conditions of the type of data or statistics required, custom tailored and aggregated data is delivered in seconds. SDKs. This is something that keeps getting brought up and um, like SDK rollups, uh, layer twos, layer ones, all these, you know, basically different forms of layers um, have really been popping up a lot. So that's what got me interested in this is just the layer and the Web3, they're heavy on Web3. Built as a library usable in your application code. No data aggregation needed from your team. Facilitates fast back-end build of automations, including the retrieval of data, new filter setup, contract monitoring, pools, currency pairs, and more. Easy to use solution, no need to figure out the format your request needs to be made in. How to handle errors, the par parameters to pass, etc. There's the Parsec Network, new products in Parsec Core. What are all of these things? Why is Parsec undergoing a major change at this stage? What will be new with Parsec Network? Let's see. A lot. Our Tsunami API data lakes and data hubs will form the basis of our ability to provide Web3 dApps and protocols with solutions to all their data needs. This includes real-time data, historically indexed data, and data storage. The new features are related to the new suite of products we have lined up. Among them, the first to be released are the Tsunami API data lakes and data hubs. Tsunami API will give Web3 dApps and protocols access to a range of real-time and historical data, enabling them to track metrics such as TVL, liquidity, current, and historical token prices, user balances, and more. Each project will be able to set up their own data lake, which will allow them to define specifically what kind of data slash stats they require, which we can provide to them. Ultimately, even individual end users will be able to utilize data lakes aimed at specific protocols and use cases, enabling them to gain the fastest possible access to whatever on-chain data they require. I'm not going to read all of this, man. I'll read this, this part. Finally, data lakes are also on the horizon, which are custom integrations of each dApp and protocol, each with their own unique internal logic. By implementing the concept of data lakes, third parties interested in these dApps and protocols will have a way to retrieve their associated data through these dedicated data lake APIs. So it looks like it's working to get all these different, um, it's in AI, um, but it looks like it's getting, trying to figure out a way to integrate all these crypto platforms together to where, you know, they can trade information, which is that good? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows in crypto? Nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble, I mean, nobody knows. We're going to check out this Twitter, baby. 
this Twitter. What you what they tweet? July twenty eighteen. Okay, sixty three point five thousand followers. Sheldon the Sniper. I used to watch his videos. I think he got in trouble for a little while and then came back, stopped doing the coin reviews, and then started doing them again, I think. Probably just had to stop doing certain things. DYDX is up 36.39%. Guess what? I told you guys about that a while ago, and it's almost up 40%. This is live Live video feed. Um, let's see. January 17th. Okay, that's a pin tweet. I was going to say, I don't like when they're not active for a few days. Tsunami API. Instant Web3 data. I mean, this is getting good traction too. 40.9 thousand looks or whatever that is. 266 loves. 149 retweets. See, I want to go to an original tweet. You watch Star Trek? We are incredibly excited about our partnership with Parsec. Their expertise in blockchain data will be instrumental in helping us to bridge the gap in the current ESG rating systems and truly measure a company's impact on planet, people, and communities. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool, bro. Let's keep going, shall we? They telling me who to follow. They want me to follow. A new partnership aimed at pushing forward the creation of Open ESG, the first open, democratic, incredibly neutral ESG scoring system using blockchain technology. ESG. I'm not even sure what ESG is. Meta's DAO. We're thrilled to reveal at Corsdac, incubated by the Meta's DAO Foundation. Corsdac is the first infrastructure uh, for the long awaited decentralized autonomy. I don't know why that. <sighs> Wishing our community a happy Lunar New Year filled with health. And prosperity to celebrate, we're giving away a fortune friend NFT. So they're staying active, they're getting traction. I don't know what that is, I don't know what they say. It's a cool looking bunny, but will it make me money? All right, Wong Rung Kai are at Parsec Net. Colleague Ho Ha Dong was instrumental to a number of great connections in East Asia and in the UK. Many great things to come. Cool, man. Cool, cool. So, um, do I own this coin? I believe I do. I've bought like five new, I've added like five new coins to my um, portfolio. So it was just coins that I was looking at. And um, yeah, this was one of them. I forgot how I found this one. I think I was looking on Google for coins leading in AI or something like that. Um, and this came up and there was like, Five total, and I picked the one that I was, like, most interested in that I thought would have, like, the highest return on investment. So, yeah, this is something I would pay close attention to, look at it, you know, follow it on Twitter. Let's see, am I following them? Yeah, so follow, you know, follow them if you're interested in it. You know, don't follow things you're not interested in. It it just takes up space. And, um, yeah, pay attention to these emails. So, January 17th, Tsunami API went live on Arbitrum. So, 
like when you follow their Twitter, their YouTube, all that stuff, you get this information, inside information that, you know, the public, the general public really has, they have access to it. They just don't follow it. And a lot of people are just, I'll buy Bitcoin because someone told me to. I'll buy Ethereum because someone told me it's going to be better than Bitcoin. And, like, people get these scenarios and they never do their own research. They never, you know, look to see what's new in the crypto space. They're just mainly people, like, the majority of people who do stocks, they just, you know, sign up with a, with the investment um, or they sign up with their job 401k and just, you know, let it let it do its thing. But a lot of people aren't, you know, paying attention to what they're investing in, which I think is an important part of investing. Like if you're going to invest your hard earned money, then why not put it in smart investments or dumb as shit investments? But at least they're investments that you looked at, you studied, you said, damn, this is a good ass coin. Like, let me, you know, I see this one actually being something in the future and even if coins aren't your thing if it's stocks or any investment real estate like in the future like real estate in the future this i believe this city is going to prosper even though it looks like shit now i think in the future it'll prosper so i'll put my money here and uh you know what risk you're taking you can lose it all you can you know double triple 100x especially in crypto so Look, guys, I tell you guys all the time, this is not financial advice. All I'm doing is giving you information on coins that I find that seem to be popular in the crypto space. Look, if you like this video, hit the like button. Click subscribe. Hit the notification bell. But your priority should be if you are interested in a coin and you want me to do a review on it, drop that coin in the comments because that's what I do. Any questions, any suggestions, any tips? If you guys hear me talking about something and I'm wrong, please feel free to go in the comments and say, hey, I don't agree with you. I think this because I know I'm not perfect and I want to learn as much as I can. So if that means taking some insight from other people in the comments, then that will help me out completely. All right. I'll see you guys on the next video.